today I'll be reviewing the Love is Blind reunion. I must say that um, I was a little bit disappointed um, because I thought there would be a lot more tea that would be spilled. For example, Amber, are you working? And when we say working, I don't mean like a couple hours in the day because you feel like but you're really working because you want to make a meaningful contribution to your household. Um, wanted them to ask Jessica about the dog drinking the wine and then she drinking out of the wine glass afterwards. I don't know. I was just a little bit disappointed. I don't know if I'm the only one, but that's how it goes. But um, in terms of the reunion, it was quite interesting to see that Kelly and Jessica had on very similar dresses, just in different colors. I don't know. It's because they are very similar in their ways in terms of leading men on and disposing of them because they are no longer interested. I was very surprised to see that Kelly was so emotional. I guess she was emotional because she realized when she watched the show how great a guy Kenny is, not was, but Kenny is, and know that he's in a happy relationship. I guess she feels really bad about that, like, oh, I have no chance with him. I was surprised, however, to learn that Diamond and Carlton were getting death threats. I mean, come on. I was not pleased with Carlton's behavior, um, but I would never expect that people are going to threaten his life and Diamond to get death threats because people thought that she was homophobic. No, the, the bigger issue is that Carlton lied to her and it is her right to decide whether or not she wants to be with someone who is sexually fluid. It doesn't mean that I dislike for a particular group of people. All right, it's just that it's her decision. And I think people miss the mark by focusing on the fact that, oh, he felt very nervous about revealing himself when she was led on by him. Anyway, it was kind of cute, it's a cheesy, but kind of cute when Carlton reproposed to Diamond, but um, said that the proposal wasn't one for a romantic relationship, it was just a proposal for a friendship. Mark, you usually seem like a very level-headed guy, but I was quite disappointed in your Mark to hear you talk about, oh, we, Jessica, maybe if we had a little bit more time to get to know each other. Jessica was never interested in you, okay? In the words of Amber, she's disingenuine. <laughs> Poor Amber, but anyway. Jessica was never interested in you, Mark, Okay. And um, it was kind of sad, especially when he was speaking about that she promised to cook him an Italian meal. I mean, she promised a whole lot more than a meal, Mark. She promised to get married to you. Um, Jessica, <laughs> I'm surprised that she wasn't talking in a very, very baby voice. But anyway, she said that she was very disappointed by her behavior on the show. And that's not how she usually is. Come on. It was not out of character for you, Jessica. Let's be real. What was portrayed on the show was really who you are. Is really who you are. I was pleasantly surprised to see how happy Lauren is in her relationship with Cameron. You know, from my previous review, I was not one of the persons who was thinking that, oh yeah, Lauren is as head over heels as Cameron is for her. I thought that she was going into the relationship with a whole lot of doubt. But it seems as if they're connecting a lot more. It was very cute when they cried. And I mean, I was, I never disliked Vanessa Lachey, but I was never a big fan of hers. Um, but to see her portray that sensitive, emotional side, it was very refreshing. Um, Nick Lachey was, uh, okay, the show could have been done with Vanessa alone because Nick is really not that impressive on camera. But it, I guess they wanted to have a couple who still 
the season so i guess that was his purpose um in terms of Gigi and damian well as i said we got some insights before the reunion because a lot of them gave interviews i already mentioned that Gigi and damian had given an interview about where their relationship was the fact that they were still working on it and that they were very much together and they didn't want to be without each other what i wanted to hear is how the mud stain came out of Gigi's dress so quickly how Gigi was able to rip her dress to give damien the bow all right is it that she had a pair of scissors in her bosom that is what i would like to know um you had amber and barnett um i liked how honest they were because everybody wanted to act as if oh yes you get married it's all magical after you say i do at the altar but um amber was very real to say that there was a point where they had expectations of each other now that they were married and she was even contemplating divorce i was surprised she was the one contemplating divorce i thought that it would be barnett um because of amber's financial history but i'm happy to see that they are on the mend um they said that they have a lot of fun together but sometimes when um reality sets in the jokes are no longer that funny so i hope that there is more substance to their relationship i would love to see an update episode in like a year's time now that um their relationship status all the couples relationship statuses are always in the open i love to see um where they are in a year's time um i think that's it i don't really as i said i wasn't that impressed by the reunion um it was i it was i so thank you all for tuning in until next time bye oh by the way do not forget to like subscribe and comment i appreciate the views but guys i need some subscriptions up in here all right thank you all for watching bye